Hi, my name is Linda Itunu. Salo Falaba, my name is Fio Ofat Mosili, and we've been in the team together since 2003. And today you're going to learn a little bit about ourselves, but really the truth about Fio Ofat Mosili. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Who was first to score a try? <laughs> <laughs> that was the one in um, 2006 um, against Canada. So it was at the Canada World Cup. I came on like the 19th, like 19 minutes to go in the game. And it was from a pick and go. Um, from behind the rock, went down the blind and got a try. But you can tell you the rest, she was the one yeah. who <laughs> It was uh, the ugliest try I've ever seen. Um, all you could see was Fee diving over, but her legs were up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I remember her first try. Who does the best pukana? <laughs> Me? Oh, sorry. She does. Bindi, show them your pukana. Oh my gosh. No one should see this pukana. Sure. You do your pukana first. People see it already. It's like... Okay, my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Day, I've, been working, I've been working so hard on my pukana, but now years. it's about presence for me and the haka, because mm. my pukanas fail. It took Te Kura to teach me how to um, do the pukana, the spider story. Oh yeah, can you tell me about the spider story? She's like, when you see a spider, you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. so that's how you do it. See, okay. do the spider do that, story. Oh my gosh. Why are we just scared of a spider? Yeah, go. Okay. <laughs> you just done it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so for our formation in the haka, it's all about um, years and so experience in the in the black ferns. Um, but if it went by pukana and and that, I definitely will be in the back row. <laughs> she tries. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you reckon has the scariest pukana on the team? Oh, TK by far. Yeah. She don't even need to <clears throat> on her. TK, yeah, TK by far, by but you far. know, Kendra's not too far behind me. <laughs> <laughs> she has the Ken, Ken, oh. <laughs> Kendra, she's puka on her. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> good talk. Good, <laughs> good chat. Good, good chat. chat. <laughs> Who is more likely to be late to meetings? Definitely Bindi. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Always late. And the worst is that she tries to blame someone else for her lateness. I'm not a liar. Not even. I'm not like that. Yeah. I own it. I own it when I'm late. Mm. And I always get the punishment, so. Even to this day, she's still late. <laughs> but we're all late to this meeting because Fee was doing her here. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the first to claim the back seat? I think that was you. No. Because I used to sit up the front because I used to get sick and I eventually moved to the back because I used to sit up the front with the management because I used to get sick. Yeah, so I probably did, was the first one, but now she, she sits at the king seat or the queen seat right in the middle. Smack bang in the middle of the back. It's so <laughs> awesome because i got Bunny to my left and Eloise Blackwell to my right. Yeah, but it's usually going to like people that are a lot more older than <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> I've got to give her the side because she, her neck gets a bit sore, so she leans onto the window and she's the first to sleep too. What was it like when you two first met? I just remember watching you play because I never got on the field. Actually, you know what's funny? It's like back then, V was a bench warmer, but you know, I was a starter. Mm. Now I'm the bench warmer. <laughs> Um, but that's, yeah, funny, that's probably why. Yeah, because V was behind Farah Palmer um, right. quite a bit, so I didn't really talk to people that were on the bench. She, she was too cool for me, <laughs> no. too cool for me, <laughs> and I, all kidding. I did was sit there. Um, I just pretty much did the haka, and sang the national anthem to the haka, and then sat on the bench. Um, those are my memories, and I warmed up every ten minutes on the sidelines. So that was probably why I saw you on the field, and it's like just waving to you because that's the only time I got to touch the grass. Thanks, Bindi, but it um, brings back great memories. <laughs> no, yeah, that's probably the earliest memory. And I just remember when she did get the opportunity, she's a beast like she is today. Only because I got to watch the beast start in 2003. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question is, what has been the most special thing about this team? 
I guess the most special thing about this team for me is, that, is the people that are around us, the people that we get to meet. Like I wouldn't be able to um, play alongside my good old <laughs> mate here and I would never have met her if I wasn't in the black jersey. So um, yeah, it's definitely um, the people around and um, us that, that create this team. And yeah, it's, it's one special team, that's for damn sure. Then this team means a lot to it. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm gonna cry. I know. Yeah, I'm the biggest sock in the team. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be strong for you. <laughs> but um, there's so much that this team stands for that we as women um, are proud about. So just being humble and being honest and, you know, always putting our heart on our sleeve and uh, making sure we represent our country, our people, and mm -hmm. our families. Um, and whatever we do, whether it's on field or off field, but um, not only that, we know how to do it to the fullness of our hearts and but also have fun at the same time and I guess that's what um, I love so much about this team and this chick's all right you know. <laughs> gonna miss seeing this chick um, lead us and you know people always look at her and think she's serious but behind the scenes she's the funniest chick most down to earth and um, it's been a real privilege to be Oh, that's um, enough. Yeah. Sure, that one's gonna get us every time.